Now this card here indicates what brought you two together. And this card depicts what is... <laughs> wow. This card is showing you guys with the challenge that you face. Freedom in the relationship. That's a hard one. Alright, so your underlying energy is the Seven of Cups. Underneath that is the Queen of Cups. So I think you guys do know what you want. It's a, honestly about... It's because usually how I see the two of wands is like, how are you going to get to that place? What places are, you know, how are you going to execute your journey? What, you know, what are your, what are your plans to execute where you're going to go? Because you already know where you're going. It's just all about how you get there. But with the Queen of Cups, it's about being in love, you know, knowing what you want, being aware of how you feel, letting your emotions go through you, not letting it get all stopped up and bulky and constipated, you know what I mean? Just letting those emotions just go through you like melted butter. But with the Seven of Wands coming up, it can indicate that there may be pipe dreams. It can indicate that there is a dream itself that you may be unsure or un, you, know, un, you know, uncertain of it being, you know, realistic. But definitely uncertainty is the card that I'm, the, the, is the message I'm getting from this card because of how everything is looking, right? The card that we first got was release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. And I feel like the reason why there's a need to clear your energy is for there to be, a, be at least able to feel like you can make a clear path towards what you want. Now, Capricorn, this being your side or the other person's, depending on how you guys are going to, t you know, take on this reading here, is got you got the Hierophant, and this talks about commitment. This talks about you know traditions. This talks about you know um, you know governments, organizations, structures, you know things that have a, a solid structure onto it. And you guys go into this relationship knowing that you're committed to it. You're solid and you're stable. You're ready to go. You're more committed. You're so committed to this than ever before. But I feel like this also brings about a lot of changes in your life that will center around this commitment. Some traditions that you may have had prior to the commitment are may, may be changing. Right? May be changing on how you see the world, how you, what your stances are, what your role may be. Right? Even in the relationship. So there's things around you that's changing because of the commitment that you're in. Not because this person's making you, not because this person is telling you that you, they can't do this without, uh, you know, without you doing X, Y, and Z and completely, col you know, compromising a lot of your own beliefs. But this is a change in belief in yourself because you're not connecting to the relationship. You're not committed to just the relationship. You're not committed to just the person. You're committed to who you are and what your true beliefs are based off of, who you, of what you believe now. And this person that may have differences like age, Age, race, you know, religion. They may have differences other than you. It's inspiring you to change parts of yourself, of traditions in yourself that you've grown up with, not because this person's telling you to or that you need to in order to be with this person, but because you are feeling, you know, you, you, there's a truth, there's a part of you that no longer resonates with that sort of, you know, that sort of lifestyle, that sort of routine. So you're changing it, you're adjusting it. And the other person is doing the same thing, but they're seeing this as more of like, uh, a, not necessarily a loss, but mourning. Like they're leaving behind the old and then, you know, looking towards embracing the future. They see that they have to move away from something. They have to move away. They could be moving away physically. They could be moving away emotionally, right? There's some things that they're having to let go of and move on from. Even though they see that the possibilities of moving forward are endless, right? Because the because the six of swords, they're they're not moving in a particular direction that shows that dictates what their perspective, you know, what their, you know, what their what they'll reach from their travels. But there's unlimited potential, and I believe this person truly believes there's unlimited potential that you guys, you and this person, can reach together. But there is ultimately something that this person has to let go of. That is hard for them, and or but it is necessary when it comes to clearing space. And I feel like you guys are both are in the same position. Why? Well, because Capricorn, if this is you on the side with the Hierophant, you guys are showing up with the Nine of Swords. This still can be the other person, though. Right? This person's very stressed out. The sleepless nights. It's, you know, they're up all night, really stressing out about things, right? Really ha maybe having doubts about things, maybe having doubts. And I th that's why a lot of their, you know, a lot of this person's, you know, belief systems or traditions are changing if this is not you. You know what I mean? If this is you, this is why a lot of your things are changing because I feel like you're up all night realizing and having doubts on what you, where you stand because things are not making sense. Or maybe, you know, it's, you know, with this sort of commitments that you have, it's not, 
allowing you to move forward. And the reason why I say all that is because what brought you two together is because of the things that you have dedicated your lives to, things that you have attached yourselves to, right? Both of you guys have had set, had to, had, has, excuse me, has had attachments in your life that have kept space, that have made space in your life, that not made space, but have kept up space in your life. And of course it was needed, whatever this was, whatever this relationship was, whatever this situ situation was, con uh, circumstance, whatever. In a way it was needed for you, but it was taking power away. That's why there's a need for change in this moment. That's why there's a need for you to release things. Right? Because right now everything looks like a little pipe dream, looks a little it looks all imaginative and all sweet, but anything is possible once you get out of the realm or the box that you've set yourself in when you committed to these things or when you've bound yourself to these attachments and things like that. So there's possibilities here. There's possibilities and you know it and the other person knows it. Right? But of course it brings up a lot of stress because these this is going without the things that you had to you know to keep you grounded in a way, right? The things that gave that, that you had to give up your power to in order to feel the, you know the way you were feeling. And now you don't want that. It's almost like you guys know you don't want it, but it's also nerve wracking to go without it. Because this is truly relying on yourself, which can understandably come up with a lot of doubts because this is committing and believing in yourself wholeheartedly when you've always relied on the devil. We always relied on whatever you had attachments on, whatever you've been leaning on, whatever you've given your power up to. Not on purpose, not because you didn't feel adequate enough, but because at that time it made sense. Not, you know, because this is not about blame, like, oh my God, you gave your power up to the devil. And the devil is not, is a figurative term, people, not actually you signing your, your you know, your, your, you know, your name and stuff away to the Lord, to the, to the devil, rather. Right? It's, it's not about that, right? It's about, it's about what you have put yourself in a position to, no, you know, to not be able to do certain things, you've limited yourself in that moment because it was ideal and it was the best thing for you at that time. And now you're not recognizing it as a benefit, which is a benefit in its in its own in itself because you're seeing where you can be, where you are stronger now that you don't need that attachment. You guys came together because you guys were tied to something that wasn't allowing you to become free and to express and to love and to be all of you, right? Because that's the challenge now. The challenge is to be open and to be okay with what you love and to do as what you do as you love, right? Not letting this look of a dream be the reality, right? Not letting yourself believe that only what you dream is a, is a, is a, can happen in your mind or happen in your sleep. This is, a, you know, I think you're detaching yourself from the physical aspects of the world, telling you and putting you in a box, keeping you from doing and having exactly what you want. You're literally, what the attachment is, is money. It's, re, is, it's reality. It's, it's the pentacles portion, right? You're not Capricorn. You're not being a Capricorn. You're like a new age Capricorn. You're not doing things based off of the societal norms anymore. You're not going by the book regarding how people on how you see the world and how it's always been. You're not letting your whole life being dictated by money anymore. You're it's stressing you out because that belief system is what you've grown up and believed, but you're recognizing that that doesn't have to be the case because God exists, because the universe exists, because you exist and you have powers and you have this amazing amazing thing that God gave us, which is full free will and allowing yourself to be the person that you can be, no matter what your situation is, no matter how much money you have in the bank, no matter what house you have, no matter what, what kind of job you have, no matter what your reputation is, nothing holds you down. And that real thing, the real, th the, 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 the money, the boundaries, the things that have been set in place that you've believed for so long, that's the real facade, not, not your dreams. And I feel like that's not just you that real that's coming to realize this, but it's the other person. And now you're able to pursue those things, pursue those things of happiness that you want, but it's a challenge to overcome the things that you know that's been programmed in your mind that you you know that has been diligently you know that's in there. You know the things, the fundamental you know the fundamental you know 
pedestal that you've stood that, that you know that you've had all these things on is crumbling crumbling down and, and it's changing because you're seeing this person you know this person's coming from a different area and they've had so much success they have so much happiness they're in a good place the world and you see that so it's like how can this be without this how is this happening without that and it's because you're in a situation where you can see oh you can see dreams come true and it's not according to the traditions and the things that you've been taught so yeah the stress is real the doubts are real but it's also questioning everything i see this more of a, of a questioning situation rather than you having doubts but don't worry because you still have everything that you need to push forward you're no longer allowing the situation to keep you from having the things that you want to have you're done with that now I feel like you guys are realizing that things that you've, you know, that you've given your power up to you is really something that doesn't deserve it. As a matter of fact, it's, it's holding you back. So, like I said with this person in the world, they know that this is a change in their life that's going to, that's, it's going to affect how they move forward. It's going to affect everything. This is their whole world and their whole life changing before their very eyes. And they're, uh, they're open to the change because whatever they needed in the past they realized that it was something that they can that they obviously loved they the respect they honor but ultimately it can't come with them because they know that they all they need is themselves not the attachments that's not the stuff that you know that they they had to believe that they are tradition and the traditions taught them you know they're learning to accept a new world. It's a, it's a change in their life too. So, the reason why this person is coming up like this with the world and the Six of Swords and their minds going into this relationship is because of the Nine of Pentacles. They're leaving a comfort zone, right? That's why this person is, you know, they know this change is done, right? They know that this is not something that they can take with them. This is attachments that only they, they, that they can't take with them. Why? One, because it's boring and it's not getting them anywhere it's 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 it, it gave them what they needed which was their sense of self their confidence their independence right they had to understand who they were and who they are and that's what they got and that's all they ever needed not the things that they have around them not the material not the anything that they have around them this was just to show them this progress that they've made everything that got them here was just to show them how independent that they can actually be and that they don't need to take any of that mess with them that all they need is themselves and that moving forward even though it is stepping outside of their comfort zone they know that they're ready they know that that change is necessary because it's truly going to get them to a new place and it's an opportunity to go ahead and find what they really want in their life. To truly be able to choose their own happiness versus choosing the attachments, the commitments, the things that they that, that, that kept them from being able to choose what they loved. So... With you, Capricorn, or the other person, right? With the, the reason why they're expressing themselves or they're showing that they're the Nine of Swords, they're stressing out, you know, things like that, as well as, you know, changing their beliefs, changing their standpoints, changing their traditions, and you know, how they see this relationship as something they're willing to commit to is the Two of Pentacles. It's because they're weighing up the pros and cons. They're trying to figure out, like, that Seven of Pentacles, like we saw earlier, that reevaluation thing. That's the same thing that's going on here. This person or you are trying to figure out which steps are worth taking, which 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 option is worthy of you. And the only way, the only way for you to know why, you know, know if this relationship is good for you, if this step in your life is the best one for you, is by looking at how you feel. And that is, again, no longer looking at the pentacles alone to give you that sort of information to help you figure out which decision is the best decision to make. Like I said before, that night, the devil card can indicate money, materialisticness, right? dedication uh, commitments and you know and responsibilities to other people or things that you that you have in place or things of this reality that make you feel like you can't do stuff that take away your power 
those practical things, right, are no longer a factor, are no longer going to actually give you any sort of insight as to what is worthy of you and your time and your dedication and your commitment. Why? Because it, because you realize how fake a lot of that stuff is, how impersonal those things are, because you want to feel happiness. You want to be happy, the queen of cups like we saw. You want to feel happiness. And the only way for you to truly feel happiness is by making a decision about uh, regarding these practical things things based off of how you want to feel and what your dreams are deep reading fam deep reading so let's go ahead and take a look at your messenger oracle all right let's see what y'all got <laughs> there's another dragon y'all some told me you guys are gonna get a dragon and it's be vigilant all right that's number three all right and be patient was number two so i think that's funny all right let's go ahead and get into it and see what the be vigilant card is my take when i especially because i already know the card what it means but i want to read you guys the affirmation but be vigilant is to stay focused on what you're doing continue to fight the good fight don't let anything deter you from going after what you believe is your destiny, which destiny is a decision based on you, not anyone else. What does your heart say? That's your destiny. What do you want to go? What do you want to achieve? That's your destiny. Nothing else, no fate, nothing dictates what your destiny is. You decide where you go. You decide where you, you, where, what goals you're going to reach. And it's up to you to decide what that goal is. So keep fighting. All right. So be vigilant. Be watchful and cautious of others' actions and your own. Stay ready to protect yourself from those who may convert what you have and or seek to harm those you care for. But also be vigilant and watchful of your own actions, lest you be the one doing harm. Weigh your actions. Be sure you act wisely. Be sure you have done all that needs to be done before moving forward. Leave nothing to chance lest all you have nurtured and cherished be undone by your own lack of vigilance. So be watchful, pretty much. So not, not, so not that much of taking action or, you know, making your decision on, you know, what is your, you know, what is your destiny, which all that shit is true still. Okay, that doesn't change any of that. It just means to be, yeah, be more watchful, be more aware, uh, not just of other people's actions, but your own and what your beliefs are and why you're changing them for you rather than, you know, anything else, but also to protect yourself, protect your beliefs and protect what you stand by. Even though I feel like y'all are changing them, when you do change it and you recommit to yourself or recommit to the connection, recommit to whatever, after you've made the space needed to move forward, to have what you want, be very watchful, okay? Because, of course, it's easy to slip back into old habits. 